Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I'll go ahead and sit down here. And uh, yeah, you know, today's video, I'm trying to, trying to line me up a little bit, so I'll scoot over here. But uh, today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, today we're talking about how it all started. And uh, I've got my phone here, so I have some notes. Um, that way I don't forget exactly what I'm talking about. But um, today's video is actually going to be very interesting, hopefully. Um, this is going to be a story about how it all started, meaning filmmaking, photography, all that good jazz. So um, let me just go ahead and start from the very beginning. Um, that way we can kind of dive into it. Um, so um, I've been filmmaking since I was about 10 or 11 years old. Um, I don't remember exactly when I started on that, but I do remember specific memories. Um, one of them we had a big dog at the time, and I, I put a, a camera, it was a small camera, this was before GoPros existed and all that, but it was a very small camera, it only shot in like 640 by 480, so we're talking like an, an old camera, so. <laughs> um, but I put that camera, and somehow I attached it to an RC car and chased around the dog, so that was kind of like my, my starter um, kind of activity for filmmaking, so. Um, obviously, I've, I've upgraded significantly since then, and, and technology has improved as well. Um, so, that's no longer a thing for me. I don't really do that in, on RC cars, but that was really a moment that kind of got me into the filmmaking kind of thing, but there's something that's, that's much bigger, and um, that is when I saw Star Wars for the first time. I know a lot of you guys, you may not like Star Wars, but for me, um, Star Wars really fascinated me, you know, the special effects of it. So um, I would always watch, you know, the behind the scenes of, of every single Star Wars um, ever, pretty much, that had behind the scenes. Um, I don't believe every single one did, but uh, I'm sure you can find, like, little clips here and there from, like, the really old Star Wars movies. But uh, either way, like, I was watching every behind the scenes video that came out for that, you know, over and over and over, just trying to understand you know like how they did how they did everything how production worked um especially for the lightsabers too you know that i actually i ended up making my own props um that were pretty much made almost identical to the way that they made them except i didn't use metal i used wood um but either way like i made my own props and i actually made short films um like star wars short films and, and some of them they aren't even fully edited so <laughs> I think I could probably find one somewhere, but I may not, so I'm not going to say I can right now. But uh, way back in the day, you know, I uh, I shot short films involving lightsabers, and I did keyframe uh, the lightsabers, you know, frame by frame. But it took so long that I I didn't finish the whole project, but I did do some of it. Um, and and I shot multiple versions of this. Like I shot like uh, different storylines for like the same characters. So like you'd have Anakin Skywalker. And, but I would just shoot like a different like path that he's going down or like a different person that he's fighting or something, a, a new character. Um, so I, I would just kind of mess with it like that, you know, and that's kind of like what I did with short films in general. So when I started doing short films, I did, I did parodies pretty much of movies, but I didn't, um, I didn't really follow any storyline at all. Like I just, I took the character and I put him in, in a totally different world. Um, and uh, I actually, I, I made one short film that's very, very short and it's only like the intro to it and that is uh, a Tron film. So if you guys don't remember, Tron is a, you know, like a sci-fi film of like, you know, the very distant future. Um, so I went ahead and I made a Tron 3. Sorry, there's a vehicle driving by, a little golf cart thing. But um, I made a, a short film of Tron 3, but there, there, there never was a Tron 3. I'm pretty sure even to this day there's not a Tron 3. I'm pretty sure I would have known about it if there was. But <laughs> um, yeah, that Tron episode, it was, it was Tron 3 or Tron 2, one of those two. I have to go back and check. But um, So what I would do is I would watch movies like that. I would watch basically Star Wars movies and action movies in general. Um, and I would, I would kind of work with it and make something out of it. And, you know, I, lo I love doing it. You know, I had people that would help me do it. I had actors um, that would be in the videos. Um, in fact, there were short films that you guys have probably seen on the channel already 
um, of me when I was younger and my brother when I was when he was younger too. Um, so like you know we were both young, just like making films, you know, every and everything like that. So it, it was it was fun. Um, we we don't do that anymore. You know, maybe he'll be in a video in the future, but it's not really his thing. So I doubt it. But uh, yeah, you know, um, short films are nice to make. But uh, one of the one of the things that is really interesting to me is that I, I carried short films all the way up until college. So in high school, we had uh, projects for books, like book projects, and we could make like a short film or we could do an essay. You know, I'm sure you probably have this in your school as well. But for me, I took that opportunity to make a short film about the book and uh, some of these short films, they wouldn't be like the greatest, but you know, it'd be fun, you know, uh, it'd be a lot better than writing an entire essay <laughs> that's like five or seven pages, so um, maybe even longer than that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's just what I did, so uh, I enjoyed it. And then, you know, I kind of shifted away from short films. Um, so like when I, when I started college, I, uh, I started doing more vlogs, and um, I think I, I may have done a couple of vlogs, but they weren't really like this production quality at all. Um, they were basically about, you know, PlayStation games and stuff like that. So I wouldn't really consider that a vlog. <laughs> but that, that was way back, you know, 2011, 2012. Um, so I no longer do that kind of stuff at that production quality, at least. <laughs> but either way, um, yeah, you know, I've been doing vlogs for a while. And I really have found that I love doing vlogs, but it, it's nice, you know, to kind of shoot a short film every once in a while or uh, work on a film in general, like a documentary film, which I've been wanting to do. Um, and actually, an opportunity has come my way with that, which I'll go in, into in a second. But, um, yeah, you know, like, uh, I enjoy vlogs. I hope you guys do, too. It's a nice way to connect with the community and, you know, show the community who you really are. Um, and your personality, you know, it, it's a great way to do that. So I really love that, um, especially, you know, YouTube being the platform to do it. Like, YouTube's awesome, guys. Um, yeah, I love YouTube, as you can tell. I've <laughs> been doing it a while. So, but going back to the documentary film um, that I was just discussing, um, I actually have an opportunity that came my way. And, and uh, sorry, my words are kind of bouncing around a little bit. Um, I just woke up, so. <laughs> but, uh yeah, you know, there's a film that came my way, um, an opportunity to work on. Now, this this is not my own personal film. It's a film that I'm assisting with. Um, so I will only be doing uh, camera operation um, for the film. I won't be editing the film or being in the film itself. Um, but I'm assisting with it, so it's pretty cool. Um, so it's actually it's a documentary about... Um, this is the storyline for now. It could change. I don't know yet until we get on set, but... It's about um, how COVID has affected small businesses. And I feel like that's a really interesting way to go about things, a really interesting take on you know, the situation, the pandemic that we've just gone through um, to really focus on the small, the small guys too, you know? Um, the small businesses, you know, uh, they may have lots of business. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, you know? Uh, yeah, but uh, that, that pretty much like, wraps up everything for my story. Um, I'm like what started me so just to uh, give you guys a little bit of a bullet point here on, on the way things kind of went down in my life um, I got my first camera that camera was a very bad camera but it still works so I used that camera and I put it on an RC car you know drove around followed the dog around that was kind of like my um, I don't know if you call it like action film but to me it, it was fun um, but then after that you know I ventured into short films, parodies, whatnot, um, and then I started doing vlogs. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of doing this a while, so <laughs> I, I, uh, I've improved over the years, year by year, you know, little by little. I've learned a lot over the years um, through YouTube and other resources. So yeah, and I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now as far as like knowledge of everything. But I always know there's more I can learn all the time. So. Yeah, anyways, uh, that's going to wrap, wrap up today's video, guys. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep this video kind of short, so I'm trying to, like, speak faster. <laughs> so, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. A um, little bit of a background about me. 
And uh, yeah, if you want more details on things, if you want me to go more into depth on certain aspects of it, let me know in the comments down below and I will shoot another video. Uh, but until then guys, that's, that's it. I'm gonna shoot the last video of the day today. That way I can go home and edit this. So uh, yeah, see you in the next one.